Hello everyone. I think you'll agree with me if I say that we are facing a problem of changing climate that is affecting us in various ways. And one of them is the cultivation of our food. On the other hand, that same food is coming with a lot of unwanted things. So do we have a system which is a solution for both these problems? I think we have a solution in hand. If all of this makes you curious and interested, I suggest you continue watching this video. Come along. You are watching Conserve Environment with Pratima Pandey. So welcome to Conserve Environment with Pratima Pandey. Santosh actually runs a YouTube channel named Fresh Leaves. Very evident with whatever we are seeing in the background and whatever Santosh will be telling us about. And quickly, the four W's and one H of hydroponics. What is hydroponics? Hydroponics is a te technique of growing plants without soil. In hydroponics, we use nutrient enriched water, which continuously flow, flow through the roots of the plants, from which the plant take up the nutrients and grow faster. That's a simple technique of hydroponics. Yes. For that, we use different kinds of systems that we'll explain later. What is <coughs> the reason behind doing hydroponics? Why hydroponics? Because when I was working in IT company, the time I get to maintain a soil-based farm is very hard to maintain with that time I get. Instead, if we are using hydroponics, most of the things are automated, the watering, irrigation, etc. are all, all automated. That means I will get more time doing my job and the part time I can do the farming. But now the next W, that which plants can be grown in hydroponics? Almost all plants can be grown in hydroponics, but the system design will be slightly different. I have tried even paddy, I have tried turmeric as well, but most of the time I will be growing leafy vegetables. That's what we uh, highlight with our fresh leaves, that brand. Okay, Santosh, the fourth question for you, where can we do hydroponics? When the space is very less for a soil-based farming, and nowadays people are moving on apartment flats, that kind of culture where the availability of soil is very low, at that place we can easily go with a hydroponic system and easily grow some uh, vegetables. At least uh, the people can consume once in a week, that kind of uh, technologies in hydroponics. Okay, and now for the most expansive, but yet we'll go with uh, rapid fire here the how of hydroponics and in that I like to ask you two things one is that is it more difficult than the regular soil cultivation it's a bit uh, uh, technical rather than the soil based cultivation because yes. people need to know how the plant will behave in a soilless environment and we are using some kind of uh, equipment for growing plants in a vertical fashion so that basic knowledge of how to preserve a plant in a soilless form is th uh, that what the user need to learn so that kind of uh, learning curve is there for doing a hydroponic farm other than that it's easy uh, second question is that uh, how expensive uh, in, in, in comparison to the soil uh, farming is hydroponics? In hydroponics, we have to use some kind of equipment. We have to give the plant an environment to grow from. Okay. So initial investment will be a little bit higher, but over the time, if we uh, check the amount of labor we need to put in, the effort we need to put in, the time we are spending on replacing the plant after each crop, and the running cost, the total, if we check, the um, cost will be lesser than soil-based soil farming. Uh, thank you, Santosh. This was a rapid fire. But now what we would like is a little more detailed uh, insight into this process of hydroponics. Sure. Hope you got a basic idea of hydroponics through this rapid fire session with Santosh. Yes, if you are interested in knowing more, then come back next Thursday for part 2. The video and share. But to ensure the channel goes on, don't forget to like, subscribe and get notified. Thank you.